You know, cooking is all about innovation, isn't it? And sometimes I look at things and I think, what could I do a little differently? And that came to mind one day when I had these no-boil lasagna sheets hanging around in my cupboard. And I thought, it's summer, it's hot, I really would like to make a lasagna, but I don't want to heat up the house. That's when I dragged out my slow cooker. Good idea. But if you don't have one of these, you could do this in a crock pot if you had it. Otherwise, you are going to have to heat up the kitchen. So I'm going to make a lasagna for you using a slow cooker. So the first thing we want to do is make a filling. So for it, I like, of course, to start with ricotta cheese. So here we have three cups of ricotta cheese, and you can either get ricotta cheese in your grocery store or you can make it at home. So to this, we want to add an egg. So one egg. And just because I had these things in the refrigerator, I decided they could go into the lasagna and really be tasty. So anything can go into a lasagna. I happen to have some feta cheese. So I'm going to put a little feta cheese in there to duplicate that recipe. And then we had, of course, always in our refrigerator, some grated parmigiano reggiano in a wedge. And that's that beautiful cow's milk cheese from Emilia Romagna. We want to give this a little bit of salt. Not too much because you've got salt in that cheese. And a smidge of pepper. And then with this, we want to have some flat leaf Italian parsley. This is going to be our filling for the lasagna sheets. And then we want to have some fresh mozzarella cheese. I'm just going to set that aside for a minute until I talk to you about this. So here's fresh mozzarella. And you buy it in your grocery store. You can go to a cheese store. And this is a cow's milk cheese. This is what is called a pasta filata cheese. In other words, this is not an aged cheese. It's a fresh cheese. Now, this is just a suggestion. You could do a different filling if you wanted to. So we're going to mix that all around. And so what you want to do first is put a layer of sauce in the base. So I take some of that tomato sauce. I know this thing's almost as tall as me. And I just spread this in the base, a very thin layer of the sauce in the base of the cooker, just like that. And now I add a couple sheets of the lasagna. Now this is no boil, so I'm going to put this in the base, and I'm not going to worry that this doesn't fit exactly, because you know what's going to happen here. This is all going to gel together, the noodles are going to expand, and it's going to fill in the whole space. So then, once I have those in the base, I start with my filling. Get this spoon out of the way for a minute. Start with the filling and take this and start layering it right over those two sheets of noodles. I just spread it around. And once you have your first layer of cheese spread there, well, then I take just a couple dabs of that sauce just to go over the top like that. Then I add my next layer of noodles in the pan, not worrying about the fact that it doesn't fill completely. I add my next layer of cheese right. over the top. And our last layer of noodles. And when you get to this part, that's when you take this sauce and you really cover these noodles well. This is the trick to getting this to cook so that it's tender. You want to make sure that you have a good coating of the tomato sauce over those noodles. And you can also pass extra sauce on the side. So once you have it like that, and that looks pretty good, well, then you put the top on, you set the setting, and you go do something else. Two and a half hours later, you've got a beautiful slow cooker lasagna.